it is about 11 o'clock in the morning here and today well let's just say we're going somewhere very special for you guys because believe it or not it's our last day here in florida so i want to go ahead and end the florida adventures with a big bang for you guys so where we're going people um is actually a place that we have never been to before and it's um a place it's like a drive and safari but it's also got airboat rides uh it's actually called wild florida which i i've never been to it before but i've heard of it so it's a really really cool place that from what i've seen online that it's got some really really awesome wildlife there that we're definitely going to check out you guys because like i said today is our last day here in florida so we really want to actually try and actually have as much fun as we can today before we officially have to start packing up tonight so um, it's going to be really sad to leave, but today though at this moment we are going to try and enjoy it as much as possible, so um, I don't know what to expect on this adventure here today, so, but something tells me uh, it's going to be pretty fun, so hopefully it doesn't disappoint for sure, so it's absolutely a beautiful day too, so it's supposed to be like almost 80 degrees out, so um, hopefully things go well for the start of the day, so. Uh, but first we are going to get lunch, but then eventually we'll get to our destination in about another hour or so. Um, so yeah, very excited to bring you people along. So um, uh, I pray, like I said, this area doesn't disappoint for us. If there is a place that can't go wrong with cheeseburgers, it's definitely Hardee's, you guys. Hardee's has definitely got good burgers for sure. I think it's up on right along tide right now to me with Burger King, but Hardee's and burgers, though, they are pretty good. So. Uh, if you guys are looking for a place to get some burgers, uh, either BK or Hardee's is probably your best bet in my in my book. So, but anywho, though, gonna get back on the road, and then uh, the adventure will start for us. We have officially made it down here to Wild Florida, everybody. Uh, and so far in the area it actually looks pretty nice. I mean, it is a little packed in here, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, obviously there's a lot of people that are going to come tour this area a lot, whether it's for the airboat rides or even do some fishing down here and all that kind of stuff. So, um, it's going to be really cool. We got to first check in though, obviously, without a doubt. So, um, I think our ride might start up maybe here in about a half hour is my guess, maybe less. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful day out. A little breezy, but not too bad. So, uh, but yeah, it's a very good day though for a ride. So, uh. Uh, hopefully we can see some alligators out in the wild and in captivity, so this is going to be an absolute adventure awaiting for us. Hi, bud. Hi. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is awesome. This is one I definitely wanted to see while we were down here. That right there, you guys. This is a rare one for me, personally. <laughs> That is an Orinoco crocodile. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, sweet. Another one. That is awesome. So that, you guys, is actually right here in this one next door is a slender snouted crocodile. So that's another really neat one native to Central Africa. And these are also a critically endangered species. Um, something definitely you guys won't see a whole lot in zoos and like public attractions too often. <laughs> Lizard water, come on! So you guys, these are true albino alligators right here. This is just super duper cool to see here. And um, there's probably only like 70 of them in the entire world, believe it or not. So to get the opportunity to see these things is just absolutely incredible. So, and of course you guys know, last year when we went to Gatorland, they actually had actually a pair of albinos that they bred and produced some pure baby albinos, which is so awesome. So yeah, and there's another one over here. Their names are Snowflake and Blizzard. <laughs> but yeah, look at that, you guys, absolutely. <laughs> guys, check this out. We got cu more Cuban Crocs right here. Oh. Yeah, put your hand in that mouth, Mom, I dare you. I know. <laughs> That's literally within, like, fingers of reach right there. Not even kidding. That is just absolutely... So yeah, these are the Cuban Crocs, you guys, absolutely one of the rarest on the planet you guys but also one of the most aggressive and agile species you guys so 
from what I've seen on on other videos, I have seen how these guys act, and they are nothing to play around with. These guys will literally come after you if you are right in their territory. So it's definitely a species you don't want to get in the cross paths with for sure. And uh, this thing probably will ruin your day. So. Yeah, like I said, you guys, that's literally like within almost hand's fingers reach right there. So it's definitely something you don't want your fingers to be pulled off from. Probably be a good picture. Yeah. Hi, bud. Have a good day. If I the black throated monitor, you guys, is definitely one on the bucket list on this trip, you guys. Oh, man. A lot bigger than I expected it, but holy cow, that is an absolutely gorgeous mo mo <laughs> monitor, you guys, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> but that is a beautiful man. So cool. You guys, that is awesome. Right there. Yeah. Wow. See him, Chase? Oh, yeah. Yep. Hello. Oh, yeah, probably good. Maybe eight, eight and a half footer. Oh, yeah. Yep. Born yep. last year. Wow. Yep. August. So, yep, mama's close by somewhere. Do see, like, we do. Yep. Uh, I'm sure she would love that. But yeah, she's really tucked in there really good. Alright, got another one here. Yeah, he is a big boy. Yeah, he looks like a good 10 footer at least. Wow, that is a big boy. Well, so we just wrapped up the, the safari adventures, you guys, and now to celebrate our last day here in Florida, we're obviously getting some pizza hut here. For now, we got breadsticks, but the pizzas will be coming here shortly, so I think for now, we're just going to end this Florida adventure with one more slice of pizza before we head home, so I am going to I am gonna miss being down here, but, um, but 2022, I mean, literally, we still got several more months to go, so... Uh, all I can do is just probably just enjoy the moment while it's here, you people, so I'm really going to be sad when we leave, but at the same time, though, I'll be really happy to see the animals when I get home. Back at the house here, everybody, and already, you know, since it's getting late already, I'm just starting, we're just starting to pack all of our stuff so we can get ready to hit the road. We're going to be leaving pretty early, probably like 6 or 6.30 in the morning, so we are obviously going to have to go to bed early, you know, and I'm not going to lie. I really did have a good time down here in Florida, you guys. It was so much fun, you know, like bringing you guys along again, you know, for another Florida adventure, you know. Um, we did see so much today on the vlog, you know, all different species of crocodilians, you know, some other types of wildlife. Um, and especially the airport ride, you guys, was pretty fun too. We did see some alligators, of course, you know, and especially those cute little baby ones that we saw earlier out there. And it was just so much fun, you guys. Um, I am still, again, I am pretty sad that we do have to leave Florida, but... I mean, that's just a part of life, you know, you know, it's sometimes taking a vacation, you know, for a couple weeks can be fun, but it's crazy how quickly these two weeks went by so quick, you know, and it really kind of does, you know, make me sad, but at the same time, though, I am kind of glad to go home because, um, I get to see my animals again, so, um, 
it's definitely for sure without a doubt when we get back to the house it's going to be a lot of not just unpacking but a lot of cleaning up to do especially for my animals back at home so and especially all of them are not only have to get their cages cleaned up but we also got to offer them food again so it's going to be really really busy when we get back home and of course i have to get back to work too as well so that's going to be a lot of fun but um at the meantime i'm just going to go ahead and wrap the vlog up here in just a moment but though but I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually try and see what the family's going on downstairs real quick before I go to bed. So, um, yeah, already getting, like I said, stuff packed, and uh, it's gonna be kind of sad to go. But hey, I mean, we did have a blast here either way, so um, I'm sure this won't be the last time we'll be going to Florida. So, but I'm thinking maybe next year we might do something different, but uh, it's a little soon to say. So, uh, anywho, yeah, it's gonna be really sad when, that we have to leave. All right, folks. Time to shut it down here so i'm really like i said i'm sad that we have to leave florida but there's nothing we can do about it here you know and i mean life in michigan right now is kind of okay but it's still really cold at home so i'm not looking forward to that but uh spring's not too far away though so um i'm just gonna let you guys know that i'm not exactly sure if we might come back to florida next year or not but we haven't had any discussions on it so I'll let you guys actually keep you guys posted on it at some point. Maybe by the end of the year we'll make a decision or not. So regardless, got to go ahead and shut it down here, people. So I promise I'll see you all on the next one.